AMCAS, which stands for Advanced Multiband Communications Antenna System, is an Air Force initiative that is focused on the design and prototyping of MILSATCOM antennas for future airborne terminals. These airborne antennas must satisfy a variety of desired performance characteristics, including several megabytes per second of data transfer. Adding to the challenge, the antennas must also conform to the constraints associated with installation on wide-body jets, minimal weight, low profile, ability to mount to the aircraft's skin, and the capacity to provide constant connection with a satellite while the plane is in flight. The steering array, built by Thincom, is the most recently developed AMCAS antenna, with its compact size of 6.5 inches tall and light weight of 75 pounds, the steering array is designed for optimal aircraft fuel efficiency and minimal visual disturbance. Its small size also makes the antenna relatively easy and quick to install. The antenna has unconstrained azimuth rotation and independent elevation control. With these two methods of movement, the steering array can quickly be repositioned to maintain satellite contact during flight, regardless of how the plane's position changes. Current models of the steering array are designed for operation with the Wideband Global System satellites and the Milstar Protected Communication satellites. In June of 2011, a 44 gigahertz steering array antenna was installed on MIT Lincoln Laboratory's 707 test aircraft. A flight test was conducted to evaluate the antenna's performance and assess connectivity with a Milstar satellite. On the day of the test, the 707 took off from Hanscom Air Force Base in Lexington, Massachusetts and flew down the East Coast. The flight path contained a series of racetrack orbits off the coast of southern New Jersey, which provided an opportunity for the flight crew to exercise multiple configuration settings, pointing angles, and link modes before returning to Hanscom approximately three and a half hours later. The quality of signal transmission and reception was measured by transmitting a signal from the steering array to the Milstar 6 satellite, and then down to a fixed ground terminal at MIT Lincoln Laboratory. The signal path was also tested in reverse. A signal originating at the ground terminal was sent to Milstar and then to the 707. An AEHF Universal System Test Terminal, or OST, modulated and demodulated the signal and logged diagnostic information during the test. Throughout the test, the steering array outperformed expectations. The flight crew were able to close the highest burst rates allowed by the system, proving that, with enough satellite resources, the steering array is capable of supporting a data rate of 1.5 megabits per second with Milstar 6. An additional flight test was conducted in October of 2011. The purpose of this test was to evaluate the performance of a 30 gigahertz model of the steering array used to transmit and receive signals between a WGS satellite and a ground terminal at MIT Lincoln Laboratory. The 30 gigahertz model of the steering array was installed on the same airborne platform that was used during the 44 gigahertz test, but the flight path was altered to reflect the WGS satellite's orbital location. In place of the previously used OSTs, Signal modulation for the 30 gigahertz test was handled by a COTS mil standard 188-165A modem. A similar set of diagnostic statistics were logged to allow for a comparable post-flight analysis. Once again, the steering array performed very well and was able to compensate for the aircraft dynamics. A variety of different modes were tested, one of which achieved a data transmission rate of over 7 megabits per second from the aircraft to the ground. The success of these tests highlights recent achievements in the development of MILSATCOM antenna technology and offers a glimpse of future Air Force capabilities in secure, long-range communications. <laughs>